welcome to my channel today i'll be doing a watercolor painting of a lemon so let's get to it first thing i do is i go on pinterest and i find me a reference of whatever i decide to draw it could be watercolor regular pencil marker or digital because like that's just the things that i'm into right now of course you don't have to use a reference you could come up with it from the top of your head but using reference aren't bad actually using reference help you learn more and grow and like do things you wouldn't normally do or you wouldn't have thought of and of course it's okay if you don't draw exactly how the reference is like shown it's always good to go outside of the reference and make little mistakes because that's what makes your drawing different from the reference This is my first video and I don't know I'm not new to YouTube because huh, way back way way back way back I had some videos posted but of course that was very cringy and so I decided to start me a little art page Even though I posted on YouTube before, this is still, like, new to me, and I still have to, like, get used to all this posting and try to be consistent. Just doing this voiceover right now is like <laughs> very awkward mm. and I don't like hearing my voice play back so this is gonna be so weird I'm not gonna tell much people that I have a YouTube channel until the summer so like and people don't talk to me about it cuz I don't want to hear about it <laughs> Since I don't really have much to do anymore during, like, after school, I'm going to try to post at least maybe twice a week. Yeah, that sounds really good, twice a week. Anyways, yeah, I'm gonna see if like this YouTube thing is for me. If not, I'm gonna just stick to Instagram and posting my little stuff and getting hate comments because you know, I gotta love the haters. They keep me laughing at night with their with their funny, funny comments. Like, um, are you trolling? Like, 
You really think I'm trolling? Oh, okay. Like, I just don't get... I don't understand why people have to hate so much. Why waste your time commenting on my stuff asking me if I am trolling? Does it... <laughs> Does it really I'm trolling? I'm, I'm not trolling. Let me just live my life. Like... <sighs> anyway... So, I used my netted eraser to, like, lighten up the sketch so I could get started with the painting. And there's my water and my favorite cup because I love purple and I love hearts. So, yeah. This is the watercolor, watercolor, watercolor foldable kit by Art Secrets. I like really thought they were scamming, right? Cause it took a month to come in, but mm, they're not a scam. A this is literally only my second time doing watercolor. Really, mm, yeah. So what I'm doing now is called the wet and wet method. It's where you wet the surface first and then apply your watercolor. What you gotta do is, you know, as I'm doing, wet the surface of everywhere that you want the paint to go. And then I squeeze my little thing, my little brush onto the watercolor well, onto the paint so I can get it wet to put it on. And what I think this method does, well, from, like, I don't know if I'm doing it right. So, what I think it does is, like, when I put the paint on, it, like, helps disperse it. Oh, yeah, I messed up more. It helps disperse it. And when you apply more water to something that you already put down, it lines it up. That's, like, one thing I like about watercolor. But watercolor over regular painting I'm still looking at the reference to, like, get the hang of where the shadow and stuff will go on for the, really, oopsie, really, okay. Where the shadow will go for the, for the lemon, uh, for the lemon, where the shadow will go for the lemon. And of course, you could always like wait until it dry a bit and then go back over it with your paint so that you can get a darker tint. Look at me over there trying to be, you know, a little cool, fancy YouTuber. So yeah, at that point I realized, oh yeah, no, this, this, this color ain't it at all. So I tried to use one below. Oh, oh, just, just watch how that turns out. Just watch. And it's even worse. So you know what? If you make a mistake like that, it is a okay. Don't know why I continued. I thought it would turn out different, but it did not. It it just didn't so of course if you're not really feeling the color that you put down you could easily go to another piece wait for it to dry and then paint over it and you see i should have let the little yellow part dry first because then now when i put the green for the leaf it dispersed into the wet and wet and just mm. 
and forth as I continue to paint I learn like I realize more stuff that like you have to go over colors a few times to like get the dark tint that you actually want oh yeah by the way I'm like I just put on Femme Guy if you don't notice that in the background so yeah Look at that little pinky race. <laughs> Trying to be all elegant. I didn't even notice I raised my pinky. Wow. And that's me going back over it. Because, look, that green was not it. Don't know what it was doing with itself, but it was not doing the right thing. If you're enjoying this video, of course, like it, subscribe, comment, all that stuff that they say in them videos. And like, comment any advice you can give me on watercolor or anything. Or comment like what you want to see in future videos. Give me, you know, tips, advice, help. Because I need it. Like... And hopefully we could become friends and like you watch my journey of me growing as an artist and you know just hopefully making it big one day gang gang Oh yeah, and also if you could like give me some good suggestions on like what to watch, like on Hulu or Netflix, cause um that's all I watch is Family Guy or Cleveland Show or like Grownish and Blackish. I heard all my block is good, but I don't know. Um, I, I don't know, like. 16 people didn't tell me to watch it and I still never watched it which I should I might try it but I do not um mm, mm, I don't know yeah I don't know what I was doing with that white there and like again me trying to make it work but then no like no i should have known from the jump that was not cute at all like hopefully i could become one of those big youtubers or like get sponsorships and get to travel and meet people But at the same time, I really don't like talking to people. I really don't. I don't like talking to people. I'm bad at socializing. I'm a very shy person. So, don't know how that will work. At all.
so of course your girl had to go over the white because honestly what was that what what even was that I honestly might might not even post on my Instagram that I got a YouTube channel. I'm gonna put it like in the link in my bio, but not into the summer. I'm gonna post. Go watch my YouTube video, cause really do not want people knowing for a bit. But at the same time, I want people knowing. It's it's a mixture. Mm -mm, I don't know. So, thank you for watching my video. This is how it turned out. I feel like I let it dry and stuff. Like, comment, subscribe, and follow me on my social media platform. Thanks! Bye!